hey everyone welcome to my youtube channel my study so in this video uh, we are going to launch our first ever windows instance on ec2 so earlier uh, we created this uh, linux based instance on ec2 now we are going to see how we can create the windows based instance in our free tl only and uh, we'll see how you can even uh, connect to it via rdb protocol or rdb client uh, let me go to my console and I'll just navigate to EC2 and I'm just simply going to quickly create the Windows instance so currently I have one machine which is also not in a running stage okay so if I just remove this filter instance state running I'll be having one let me launch one more instance that is my win 2 okay my Windows second number machine and here I'm going to select Windows 1 that is from the quick start a uh, free tier is eligible uh, here T2 micro same one I'm going to use it a uh, key pair I require so I'm just going to create better to create a new one a new one will be for my win pair okay uh, in PM format only I'll just continue with that okay it's being downloaded on my uh, local machine download folder till that time i'm just going to create a new security group and let me allow this rdp traffic because without allowing this rdp traffic we just cannot connect to it the way uh, we are just trying to connect to the linux machine via 22 number port and now we are going to use this uh, rdp and that is available on a port number something like 3306 like and it's just going to create a new uh, security group launch wizard tree so i'll show you what are the rules being created there configuration stage so in this free tier eligible uh, customer can get 30 gb of ebs uh, so we'll just continue with this 30 gb anyhow uh, later we are going to simply uh, delete this particular instance okay so i guess uh, we are good to go ahead uh, no user data in this particular case we are going to keep it let me launch the instance okay being created launch log everything successful now i'll be having a one more here so let me refresh okay uh, yeah it just started running so very fast uh, before we go ahead i just want to open this security group in this ec2 also let me just go inside and i'm just simply going to connect it okay so here we are going to use uh, this rdp client to connect it and for that uh, I have to first okay let me download this remote desktop file which we are going to use it and I have to get this uh, password so to get the password okay it's not ready yet so please wait for at least four minutes after launching an instance then only you can decrypt this password so from this particular key you can decrypt this password and use it as a password while uh, entering into windows machine meanwhile uh, let me just go to my security group you can have a look at within a security group there is a one rule being created that is rdp inbound rule so for the rdp 3389 port from any of the sources we can just simply connect it as far as outbound are concerned all traffics are allowed for inbound only on 3389 port uh, okay let me go back uh, once again and i'll just go for decrypt password once again yeah it's allowed now let me upload some private key so which we have downloaded earlier so that will be in a download so my win pair dot pem okay is it being yeah done let me decrypt the password so now this is the password i'm just gonna keep it somewhere let's say in a notepad for time being now that uh, we have already downloaded this uh, rdp client so i'm just going to double click upon it or uh, let me just show you uh, this is the my win 2 okay let me connect it okay so here i just need to provide this administrator password now because we have allowed this 3389 port then only we are able to enter into our windows machine otherwise it's not possible to enter 
okay bang on you will be able to see uh, slowly our windows screens are coming so that means uh, we don't want to do any operation on the top of it for my idea in this video to show you that how you can go ahead uh, with a windows machine on a linux ec2 instance if case you want to minimize something you can have a look at this is the complete windows screen after this rdp client okay so it will take a few minutes to come up with a complete uh, gui of the windows machine yeah bang on you can have a look at it just came i'll be able to navigate to different places in my explorer also from here see so in a pc if you just have a look at yeah little slower because we are using the free dl1 30 gb of storage i got it okay so let me just close down this thing okay and i came back to my ec2 console now i don't require this ec2 console so i'm just gonna uh, uh, remove this uh, instance uh, before that let me just go to my volumes in a ebs you can have a look at there is 30 gb storage uh, being assigned to it anyhow it's in a, a free storage but uh, still i don't want to use it so what i am going to do uh, this instance i'll just simply delete terminate delete instance and make sure that uh, in this uh, volume also it will be deleted soon okay and uh, next thing is uh, in this security group also i don't think security group will be automatically deleted so in case you want to delete manually you can delete this stuff because anyhow we don't require some groups cannot be deleted because it's being attached with uh, other vpc okay uh, okay so that is all about how you can get started with a windows machine very easily on the ec2 environment so that's all about this video i hope you enjoy listening this video and i'll get back to you in the next one with some more great content on aws